Okay, so it's 5.20 in the morning. Um, haven't gotten up this early in a minute, or at least not intentionally. Uh, we're doing a little uh, day in the life of uh, Corey Keene, how he does so much crap in a day. Uh, thank God for these drive through donut places that sell energy drinks. I'm going to grab myself some uh, poison some energy poison and some donuts to hopefully give me enough sugar to get the day going. Try to get a bed earlier. I tried to get a bed earlier last night and it didn't do a very good job. But I know that Corey, I know that Corey runs on like five hours of sleep a night. There's a lot of people that can do that. I've met other people that do that, but maybe not people that do as much stuff as Corey does throughout the day. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> got the lights all. You got your skate shoes on? Yeah, yeah. Look at it. I got me a mean switch tray. Like, oh, I, I see that. Off the toe. From the flick. So, uh, yeah, this is bright. Uh, so he brought the dog out for a walk so it doesn't freak out and wake everyone up. So are we going for a walk with the dog right now? Yeah, we'll do a little walk. Okay, let's and, do a walk. And by everyone, it's just Angela. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't believe you just, like, running this in shorts right now. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> sure. There's some, like, motivational speaker, and their whole thing is, like, I think, make your bed. Oh, that makes sense. Because the thought is the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so if you get out of bed first thing in the morning and you already start with doing something productive, you made your bed. 100%. You're going to do the rest. Everything else is going to fall into place like that, you know? I got until 6.15 right now to... Uh, Sometimes I'll either like pull my clothes out, which I already did before you came, just so I'm not bothering Angela. Yeah. Um, or I'll do some stuff on the computer, maybe reply to some emails, kind of like map out what the day's gonna look like. Mm -hmm. uh, or feed the cats, that kind of thing. So right now we got until 6.15, it's 6.04. Well, this will probably, feeding the cats will look so sick fish I did. Yeah, this is a, a slow feeder because my cats are idiots and they eat too fast. Oh, who's a little chubbers? We call him King George. I he's, see. he's really cool though, because he's just like a big noodle. Yeah, King. I see that. He just accepts what yeah, you, you do with him. You can do whatever you want to him. <laughs> there you go, boy. And then his brother Fred is around somewhere. Oh, George and Fred, so you need Master Harry Potter characters. Yes, yeah, we Weasleys. Oh, there you um, go. Oh, because they're red. That's Angela. She's huge, huge, huge Harry Potter fan. I know I like Angela. And then Rocco gets uh, refrigerated food because he's a brat. You make them sit before they eat because allegedly dogs will never disrespect the hand that feeds them. I don't know if it works. He's kind of a jerk. <laughs> uh, make the animal a coffee. Um, I make my coffee at the shop. If you marry Corey, you get coffee in the morning. It's pretty sick. So uh, his wife owns a cold pressed juice shop. So I'm expecting some sort of exotic smoothie today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But actually, so her smoothies are from all like cold pressed raw juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Organic. It's awesome for you and all that. Um, I get frozen fruit at Costco. <laughs> I watched something kind of like this with that dude Casey Neistat, you know who he is? At 4am, did he like wake up with sunglasses already on? <laughs> I use dragon fruit usually, cherries, get a green in there, so I'll do some the spicy ginger. Ooh, well that's just like straight spicy ginger? Yeah, it's got cayenne, lemon, and ginger. Oof. And it's very, very spicy. So, they don't, they only sell this in shots. They only, they make this for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it gets you get your own custom label and yeah, everything. It's like, it's like, I think four or five bucks for like the little baby bottle. Yeah. And so, um, I go through it a lot cause I, I drink it in the morning with smoothies and I drink it with whiskey and I like drink it randomly. Um, so yeah, I get my own big bottle. Perks. Mm-hmm. And then this is nice cause it kind of wakes you up. So as your morning routine changed all since you, uh, Move to the new shop that's a little further. You have to um, wake up a little early, right? Yeah, it has actually. It's, it's actually made me more disciplined because before the old shop was uh, was like 0.7 miles away. Yeah. And so since it was so close, I'd always like leave late. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's so close. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I would always just end up going late and then I would just end up doing like dumb shit around here, like playing yeah. on my phone and like, you know, just doing like delaying everything. Yeah. Um, but here, just because, like, moving into the new shop, like, everybody, uh, 
is is on a new routine and like we have a new alarm system and like mm -hmm. all that acclimation process like i needed to be there like but like i needed to be the first one there every morning. oh yeah and now i don't really need to be but like i've just gotten in the habit of being there first thing like it's just normal so you want me to, you want me to come in the shower with you or no it's waterproof so okay. we're good okay so i'm just gonna have to cut it three minutes short and you know where i lost that three minutes making your smoothie <laughs> so i hope you're happy yeah typically not yeah why did he come out here and get dressed in the kitchen because <laughs> he was so excited to talk to <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to show off his bod <laughs> yeah right that thing <laughs> that's what this whole video is about he's like i can't wait to get dan here i want to come out shirtless show off my my wife and her animal onesie. This is why Rocco tries to hunt your cat because you, you evidently you try to seduce anything in the house. You're just like, oh, Dan's here. I usually do put my shoes on over here. Is that true? Mm, yes. You wouldn't know. He usually though usually puts his shoes here. That's more realistic. Why well, you have to show that because it bothers you because the yeah. shoes are on the table. <laughs> <laughs> What it's like to be married. That's the new title. That's clicky. That's clicky. <laughs> Wait, what? He puts the beanie on to look like an idiot? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, because he has to put it on She said it like four times. I put this beanie on. It's strictly to ride my bike. I don't wear it normally for like fashion. And it's she's a little like, like, she's, like beanie. she's like, put it the other way. But it, it fits better in my helmet this way. Yeah, it fits better on his helmet. Yeah, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to drive next to you as you ride this bike. And my, with my heat blasting. With that black beanie and the mask and the black shirt, you look like the safest ninja with that helmet. Why is your, uh, why is your husband so conceited? He like calls me at like 2 a.m. like, come film me in the morning. I want to show people how I live. Yeah, <laughs> you just figured it out. Yeah, he's like, oh, come on over, Dan. I sent you. I got these ideas. <laughs> I got these ideas. I sent you the most insecure text. So I was like, I have this idea. Yeah. Hear me out. Shut it down, please. Yeah, he was he was very Aww. insecure about it. He was just like, it was like, it sounds like it's like a, what, what word did he use? I said, I said it's, it feels self-indulgent. Yeah, that's what you're like. You're like, yeah, so, mine was self-indulgence. is my favorite band. And oh, where's your trash can? I bet it's hidden in one of these drawers because you guys are fancy. Yeah, don't look over there. We're getting these redone. Okay, yeah, I won't look over there. Actually, you could. That's the new green. <laughs> That's the new what? The new green. Oh, there oh you go. God. Oh, that is, oh, which one are you going with? This one? This one. Very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Little teaser for the future of his house. <laughs> she brought home like four different greens and like put, you know, the little swatches out. Yeah. And then she's like, what one do you like best? I was like, yeah, that one. And she asked a bunch of people, they're like, yeah, that one. It's called privileged green. <laughs> I didn't mean it. <laughs> I like it, but I didn't mean it. For some reason, I picture privileged green to be a shade of white. <laughs> As you might have guessed, it, Corey's definitely one of those people who rides a bike to work every day because he just loves the environment. Uh, it's not, I mean, I respect the environment and all. <laughs> but this isn't about you, Mother Nature. But it's not nature. about the environment. It's about, uh, why did I start doing this? My blood pressure was high. Oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. I am proud to announce, uh, even though I didn't film it, he does use turn signals. So, uh, good job, Corey. How'd you keep up? So I was struggling, man. I had to pedal to the metal, baby. You were so cute when you're trying to pop little wheelies and swear around. Cute. I was going for more of a badass. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you're looking sick. I was like, is that John Travolta? Just a shop cat. He used to be um, an outdoor cat at our old shop. But we came here and there's mad strays and like when we did the move, uh, it was like they were all in heat, so they're all fighting each other. Oh. So we kind of just got scared to take him out or let him out. Um, yeah. But now he's like super content being inside. Really? He's just, he's just soft now. Oh, who's got Stockholm syndrome? It's a you turbo little Stockholm syndrome kitty cat. All right. Puts on a different beanie. Start his coffee routine. Yeah, a different beanie. Bust open the smoothie. There's a couple things that happen Monday morning. I have this little notebook. This notebook kind of like maps out my week in a way. I usually just, uh, you know, put whatever the week span is and just give myself some little check marks. And these are things that are kind of like outside of like normal ramp builds, um, you know, send, send somebody an invoice, uh, complete this contract to pay this, make a profile of Malachi, just kind of like admin-y things like that. Off the top of my head, I'm trying to remember, I have a meeting today all with NCSA, National Collegiate Skateboarding Association. Oh, those are the homies. You know them? Nope. 
Oh. You know how hard it is for me to not put a Y after the CK right here? <laughs> I think our container's already here. Wait, really? Is that what just showed up? Yeah, I just heard that like, psh. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask you. So like, the neighbor spot has a dock. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if we should show this part, but I'm gonna cut that lock. Oh, nice. <laughs> and the reason behind this, this has been vacant for three years. Yeah. And when we first moved in, somebody cut the back lock. And yeah. I called the property managers and I was like, hey, your lock got cut. You know, what do you want me to do? You want me to secure it? They're like, yeah, yeah, go to Home Depot, buy a lock and just, you know, lock it up. And yeah. that was two or three months ago now. Yeah. So I, I already like have a lock on the back. And this one, someone tried to tamper with it before, but they yeah. didn't successfully get in. So I'm kind of like, maybe I should just cut it. Yeah. saw that except for the thousands of people that are gonna watch this video here we go gender reveal is it square or is it round <laughs> oh, hey. oh. No oh man we gotta hand unload them round flat bars go all the way back there not a square rail in sight oh, oh man i missed the clip where you pull that knife out all cool See it again. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Oh, I'm ready. It's just, uh, uh, uh. Wow. Totally cut it. <laughs> oh, these are sick. Oh, that is sick. Oh, there's side pouches. And then. Oh, look at that. Oh, whoa. That is whoa, sick. Whoa. And it's got all these like extra pockets. This is like a good bag, like not even for tools, right? but also for tools. Yeah, your little little beer spot. Oh, it has a koozie. Yeah, built-in koozie. No way. And then uh, little board straps. What? Yeah. Dude, that is the setup. The ultimate tool bag right here. Okay, so that's the new hot seller. People aren't even be hitting you up for ramps anymore. Try not to get the lid off. Yeah, it's kind of already got like a distressed look to it. Yeah, I like it. Oh, sick. And then on the inside. Oh, the inside. What's it say? The law of the saw. Obey the law of the saw. Because the saw will hurt you. That's right. You got to respect it. Yeah, obviously, he's talking about saw movies one through eight. I mean, if you don't respect those movies, you're not a real movie buff. Yeah. Yeah, let's cover our bald heads up. Well, that's a good, that's like your style hat. Right? That's why you got that hat, because that is like your style. Yeah, it's like kind of unstructured. I like a hat where like you first pull it out and it's already ready to go. You yeah. Know? It's not like you have to like, okay, let me like make Get it just brand. right. Yeah. It's like you just throw it on and you feel like it's already just like worked in. This is the worst unboxing video I've ever seen. <laughs> I want that fall. There we go. Oh, this is much nicer than the other one. That is a good thickness. Oh, that's a good rail. Yeah, look at that. Damn, that is fucking sick. The like logo proportion looks better too yeah the logo looks sick because on the prototype it was uh, much thinner yeah so now i'm gonna make everybody unload these <laughs> i was trying to get some footage of uh, dylan running the cnc machine but yeah uh, he only had to do one so <laughs> that's all you get is just him moving it <laughs> well that's the machine it's cool so th this is sort of where i kind of come up with like a game plan and like decide what's a realistic amount of, of orders to, to pump out for the week depending on like what we got going on. Are we allowed to talk about this? I think so. I mean, by the time, by the time we put this out, this should already be this done. This might be in the works, but yeah, basically uh, Jeff Rowley hit me up and he is going to be doing a project where I don't know much about it at all. He just said he's doing a video project. Yeah. And he wants this custom obstacle. Corey's been over here training, I guess. He, he's, he's like, oh, come film me. Just like mess around over here. Like, obviously he's been like hitting the finger jam. Oh, is that front five? Oh, here we go. Clean oh, let me clean off the lens, dude. This is, this is some real stuff. Look at this keener. This is like literally like our ramps. Oh, it's actually all the scale. Oh, really? Yeah, these are, so inches are the same as uh, as feet. So like this is uh, one inch high, which our kickers are a foot high. Oh, and sick. And like this is two inch high, so it's a two by four quarter. And then the box is same specs, and this is a three by six. Oh, nice. Try this wall ride. Nose blunt. 
Ooh. Oh, I got that unlocked. It, well, it's pretty hard to see because you're putting so many fingers on it. You're using like three Two fingers. fingers. You got to get that other finger out of there, dude. This? Yeah, dude, that's how you gotta do it. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't either, but it's good for my angles. Insure out of there, though. Keep my what? Your insure. You know, what do you? You don't want my insurance? I don't, I don't want people thinking like geriatrics run this place. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I drink this um, stuff. It's delicious. Yeah, Corey's being interviewed. Oh, yeah, I'll be quiet. Okay. What advice would you have for someone wanting to start like their own kind of thing within the skateboarding realm? Um, the biggest piece of advice would probably be like don't quit your day job, like yeah. like keep it a side hustle. And that's just across the board, whether it's it's skateboarding or not skateboarding. It's like if, if you have some passion project that you eventually want to turn into like your main thing, like don't necessarily put all your eggs in one basket and, yeah. and be like, I gotta get investors. And like, I mean, there's yeah. no right or wrong way to do it. But a lot of those ones where, where people like, they're like, all right, we gotta build a team and get money and get a facility and get all these things. It's like, you really don't. Yeah. And, and a lot of times when you build a team, like a lot of those partnerships will unfortunately fail. Exactly, like, yeah. Try to stay, try to keep it your own if you can. Yeah, yeah. You know, hire employees. Don't, 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 pop, don't, don't bring in like too many partners or yeah. if you do, like make sure you guys have a great relationship, great like lines of communication. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, just, be like very authentic in your brand right yeah because everything you do it's like you're representing yourself now you're representing your brand which is essentially reflecting on your product or your service yeah this keep in mind that this whole video started off with him texting me about how insecure he was he was just like i don't know it seems kind of vain that i do a day in the life and then he pulls out this bobblehead of himself <laughs> I, I didn't make this. This is a gift from my yeah. parents. Uh -huh. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a gift from your parents. He told me that he paid out of pocket no, three okay. stacks to oh, make this. Okay. That's like the video. <laughs> oh, and it says Keen Rams. That's cute. Yeah, my, my mom hit me up around Christmas and she was like, send me photos of yourself. I'm like, I'm your son. You should have photos of me. <laughs> yeah, what? She's like, send, send me photos of you with a skateboard. I was like looking through, like finding all these random photos. Yeah. I don't know. I sent her a bunch of photos and then uh, I didn't understand why. And then I got this for Christmas, uh, a bobblehead. Of Your mom's gonna be so confused. I've heard sending her photos of me like with skateboards. How do you how do you like the proportions of this board? Oh, it's I mean oh. it's it was a Dave Pachinski's board. It was at seven five. So <laughs> little lunchtime uh, work sesh. Of course, had to get some. things that does kind of bum me out about Keen Ramps is the owner can't skateboard. He's, uh, you know, he's just in it for the money. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, you locked into so many bad back smiths. If you go to 50, oh, you son of a bitch. Corey, trying to flex and act like he's a good yeah. boss by buying pizza on the day that I happen to film it. He yeah. never does anything for anyone. Uh, no, Corey uh, awesomely bought us pizza when I worked here. He would also buy us pizza. Just uh, honestly, this is more of a, uh, a advertisement for you wishing that you worked here. This is seriously the sickest job ever. I mean, look how happy he is. <laughs> he's working. See, so, yeah, that was a quick uh, day in the life of Corey. Uh, any any outro? Outro? My day's not done. That wasn't a full day in my life. That was a morning in your I'm life. Gonna, I'm gonna ride home, and then I'm gonna go to Santa Monica, wow. and then I probably have to buy a lock to replace the one that we, uh, oh, that, yeah. or the one that broke. And yet you're going to a meeting in Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, hotel. Hotel wants to do a ramp jam party thing. Sick. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's most of my day. <laughs> that, it really wasn't, though. I feel like your day really doesn't end until you wake up the next morning. And then it's like, okay, now it's isn't another that, day. Isn't that the truth for all of us, though? I gotta go. <laughs> Anything else you want to add or say? Or? Um, you know, it's been fun. Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, oh. Do the hand thing. Do you? No, I'm not doing the hand Come thing. Come on, just do it. <laughs> That's the end of the video.